Yo, go subscribe, go get informed by Pete and Zeki, you know, bigger brother. So hello guys, welcome to Pete and Zeki TV. And if you're new to this channel, please, please subscribe and click the notification bell below so that you get updated in the latest in the world of entertainment. And our story for today is um, uh, Stare MP uh, Charles Jaguar uh, has dropped out of the nomination polls, citing um, theft and so many irregularities. So this story I have just received right now is, uh, you know, today there were nominations for uh, UDA in, in Stare, for the Stare uh, LP seat. And, you know, there were two people who were vying, which is Jaguar and Simon Mbogwa. And Simon Mbogwa is the son of uh, Bishop Margaret Wanjiru. So this is what happened eh? after, as the nominations were starting today, um, uh, apparently where the strongholds of where Jaguar was today, um, they were very the strongholds were being so the strongholds were the uh, irregularities that's where it started and the papers came late there were so many things that happened so this is what uh, his PS said when I contacted him on phone call kindly listen to this and tell me what you think guys <laughs> transported by the competitor uh -huh. Simon uh, Simon uh -huh. then what work of a Kujana ballot papers in the Makiwa so I think Walipoana Walipoasha Mark Mabeko Simon Bogua uh -huh. Simon Bogua and then Kamakariako uh -huh. Simon Bogua Simon Bogua Simon Bogua Simon Bogua Simon Okay. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, I did <laughs> Uh also upon being asked uh, the deputy president was asked about the irregularities and this is what the deputy president said of these polling stations and uh, let me just get this right one of those polling stations was uh, uh, Kariako, the social hall in the Kariako, there was no voting that happened there. And even away from that, in Kahawa Ward, there was also no voting uh, taking place. There was also an incident that was reported at the Kasarani police station, allegedly of a presiding officer who was injected with a substance that uh, induced sleep. So the ballot materials were destroyed at that point. So, of course, we would just like to hear 
What if you've received such information and uh, what is the party doing to handle this matter? Thank you very much. Uh, yes, indeed, as I told you, we have close to 200 different uh, polling centers where we have challenges. In some of them, some ballot material, ballot boxes were destroyed. And that's why I was saying that out of the 16,000 plus polling centers, about 200 we have challenges and we have filed reports. Those areas we are going to repeat uh, the nomination exercise in all. So it is so, so unfortunate that uh, things like this happen even before the elections, but I uh, wish uh, Jago well. Um, I've just been told Jago has said for him to, to participate in the nomination polls that people have, need to start, uh, IBC needs to do a fresh registration of, 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 of uh, UDA members, That's, and then the polls have to be done afresh so that he can return back to the race for the nominations. But what do you guys think about this? Um, this is my pole to Jaguar, pole for what has happened to you, but uh, let's hope for the best and let's hope this issue will be resolved. Yes, yes, yes. Hanging out with my main man Peter Nzeki and on this Peter Nzeki TV. How are you guys doing? You want celeb news, you want government news, you want breaking news. There's only one place to get it. Peter Nzeki News. Subscribe, subscribe. Let's take it to the next level. Peter Nzeki to the world.